You know, sometimes people ask why I eat pancakes for breakfast every single morning, and then they see my pancakes, and then they're like, oh, now I know why. And if you guys haven't had them yet, probably start considering to make pancakes for breakfast every morning, not only because they have about 50 grams of protein, but because they have creatine and they're delicious. So I got a new tripod actually, it's called the Joby tripod and it's actually this thing right here. What's really cool about it is that the legs you can actually move around to like different areas so that if you want to like wrap it against the barbell or wrap it against anything can actually really stick to it. The only downside of this is that it's a little bit weird whenever you wrap it and sometimes it doesn't stick all the way. Um, but it does work really well and my tripod broke about like two weeks ago So I can only get certain angles which is kind of frustrating to myself But I'm working with this right now and hopefully I'm praying that I get a new tripod for Christmas I thought it was right there Check in emails and of course if you want coaching if you want to work with me You should I'm make a book about that for lunch. So cool. let's get a stay started I'm excited You want to make a book? I'm gonna get some chocolate Sure how to yo-yo diet. How to gain weight, how to lose weight. The best part about waking up and going to the gym is putting on the first thing that you see and really not caring about what you'll look like because I have a blue jacket, green pants, and then camo shoes, or camo pants, camo shoes. Can you even see my feet and my legs? All camo. Luna, you wanna go for a walk? Stretch. Stretch those hip flexors, huh? All right, you guys, so as you can see, there's a class going on behind me. Today, we're gonna be working up to a heavy triple on squats, and then after that, we're gonna be doing some back work. After talking to my coach a little bit, he told me to do as many sets and as many reps as I want for back work because he wants me to get a really big back because big backs equal big totals. So what I'm gonna be doing today is squatting, after that, wide, I think wide grip bench press, and then after that, some back work. So, hope you guys like this video, and I will talk to you guys afterwards. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell swing. Snowing and blowing, a push of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell time, jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square. What is going on you guys? So I just finished up working out with Marvin. It's about 9.50 and I have an exam at 11.30. So I need to hurry up. I need to go home, shower, eat, go to class, take an exam, then come home and then study for my strength and conditioning course tomorrow. So I'll let you guys know how the exam goes.
What is going on you guys? So from the title of the video, you guys are probably gonna start wondering when I'm gonna start talking about my weight loss and that's gonna be now. Well, I first, you know, wanna talk about my exam, which I just did and it's freezing outside. I kinda wanna talk about that. Um, it's relieving to actually finish, you know, my exam and I only have two more to study for, which is strength and conditioning and I also have Spanish. But, all right, let's get started with the weight loss. So, for those of you who are new to my channel, I lost 125 pounds, and how did I do it, and how long did it take? All right, let's go over those things. So, it took me about a year and a half to lose 125 pounds, which is actually a fair amount of time. I mean, it took me a, a good year and a half, I would say. And how did I do it? There's nothing different from me, from you guys. I am the same exact person as you are. All it did, all it took was, you know, just a lot of sacrifice, motivation, dedication, and the simple things that everyone's gonna tell you. And I feel like so many people overcomplicate weight loss, and there's absolutely nothing that should be complicated about weight loss. All it is is calories in versus calories out, and you have to make some sacrifices. Some people are always wondering, like, what's the best diet or what's the best, you know, workouts to do to lose weight? And there are some great strategies you can do, you know, like what I would do during my weight loss was I would wake up at 5 a.m. every single morning and go work out at Planet Fitness because I was so scared and embarrassed of other people seeing me work out. And I would work out so hard. I would do high intensity interval training. I would sprint on a treadmill for like 20 seconds, walk for 40 seconds, and do that for like 20 minutes. And after that, I would just eat so healthy. And my biggest tip for those people who are trying to lose weight is just make sure you're making healthier options. Make sure you're enjoying yourself and you're not living off 800 calories for the rest of your life. What I would do during my weight loss is, during the week, I would make sure I would eat so healthy. Like, I'm talking like strict. I would weigh everything. I would exercise twice a day, just like I said. And then on the weekends, I would make sure that, you know, I would enjoy myself by having a cheat meal. Not a cheat day, a cheat meal. There's a lot of people who, you know, would have a cheat day and then just over consume and then after that they just push themselves back just because they're over consuming and eating like 5,000 calories and that may seem like an exaggeration but a lot of people are actually eating so many calories by eating calorically dense foods and not nutrient dense foods which means the food that they're eating like Doritos has so many calories but absolutely no nutrients so make sure you guys are you know eating healthy during the week and you can enjoy yourself by, you know, treating yourself to like Cheesecake Factory and eating chicken alfredo, which was like my favorite thing. And making sure you guys are making the sacrifices that are necessary. It's no, I'm no different from you, all right? I am 21 years old. I was 312 pounds at my most. I got down 183 and now I'm 205. I gained like 20 pounds back, but most of that's muscle because I did do a bod pod, which is, you know, fairly accurate. I got 16.9%, which is fairly lean. And it's not all about the number on the scale. I mean, yes, it does affect, you know, your weight and stuff, and weight is important, and you should be able to, you know, get to the weight that you want, but I did nothing different, you know? I just worked so hard, and I would make sure that during the week I would eat so healthy, you know? Just make sure you guys are making the sacrifices that are necessary and have the support that you need, and it's, it's really not that difficult, guys. So, I mean, if you guys have any questions about weight loss and you're new to the channel, comment down below. Um, I'd be more than happy to help you guys out because I am studying exercise and health sciences. So. so that's all I have for today's video, guys. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. And don't forget to stay healthy, everyone.